Good evening, and welcome to Dr. Frank's Coconut Love Line Hour. Uh, tonight we have a very uh, serious question, and it comes from um, from a longtime viewer, uh, Trolley McTrollson, um, has been watching for the past uh, 12 minutes. And uh, the question came out as this, so we got to see if... Um, Dr. Frank, if you, if you might be able to answer this question, I'll go ahead and read it because I think that we have a lot to live up to right here, right now. Um, Trolling McTrollson says, uh, well, she says, I will not leave this chair until I get an answer that supports my details correctly and makes me satisfied, okay? So, um, let's, let's see if we can answer this to the best of our abilities. Alright, so, here goes, here's the question. Are you ready, Dr. Frank? Yes, I'm ready. Answer. Ask away. Alright. Um, well, here it goes. This is the question. Um, the reader says this. My fridge has an STD because it ate a frozen waffle and it cried. So it got an STD. What do I do? And does the answer involve the string theory, the Big Bang theory, or apes? Because if it does, you'll have to explain that to me because I'm not too bright. So, thank you. P.S. Do I now have cancer? Not, you know, so, Dr. Frank, what are what are your thoughts on this? Oh well, uh, I know exactly what the problem is. So, uh, Troy McTrollson, go ahead and uh, and uh, take out a notepad and write a few of these things down. Uh, so, first of all, you're gonna have to uh, calm down, relax. I mean, it's it's a problem, but we might be able to solve this. Okay, so. Go down to the pharmacy and pick up some penicillin and a syringe. Uh, turn your fridge around so you can get the you can get to the drain hose. Take uh, your brand new syringe that you just bought and draw out about mm, I'd say 200, 250 units of the penicillin and inject it directly into the drainage hose. Contrary to popular belief, refrigerators aren't merely mechanical appliances. Believe it or not, refrigerators are living things. Charles Darwin himself proved that refrigerators were in fact evolved from prehistoric common ancestors of the penguin. Echidiptes Selassie. The Echidiptes Selassie are believed to have reproduced by swapping fluids produced in glands beneath their eyes. So to the uh, uneducated observer, this might be perceived as tears. I theorize that your refrigerator was attempting to swap fluids with the tainted waffle, thus contracting syphilis, which has reached epidemic proportions among the frozen waffle population. Unfortunately for the waffle, it is not a mammal, nor does it have a circulation. Your refrigerator would be this, would, uh, <clears throat> however, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked there for a second, you know, the, some, some sound effects here. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, unfortunately for the waffle, it is not a mammal, nor does it have circulation. Your refrigerator, however, is a mammal, and, uh, it follows, therefore, that the treatment for syphilis would be the same method used for other mammals. Your penicillin should do the trick, but if the fridge is still showing symptoms after, say, uh, <coughs> a week or two, uh, I'd call a specialist or get a new fridge. Maybe a stainless steel one. Those are insanely popular these days. Yeah. All right then, Dr. Frank. Um, thanks a lot for your info. And <coughs> <coughs> I hope you might be able to help me out with my cough later on. But um, definitely remember this. So that that's our question for tonight. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add, Dr. Frank? No, not not really. That, that that's pretty much it. Yeah, the penicillin should do the trick. 
Alright, well then, um, please remember these things, because, you know, uh, syphilis is rampant these days among the frozen waffle population. And, um, don't forget also, you know, don't, don't forget to spay and neuter your waffles. Um, you don't want little orphans running around, you know, having to go to food shelters for waffles is such a sad thing to see. So, um, take care out there and uh, prepare some questions for next week. Alright? Let them know. Have a great night. Thanks for watching Dr. Frank's uh, Coconut Love Line.